is up youtube it's rs mario here bringing you another pokemon legends za video all right so we got some interesting stuff to talk about today uh not too much because of course there's not too much happening but you know pokemon videos are the only thing that really kind of move on the channel so you know we got to keep them pokemon videos going so we have, it looks like the Pokemon company has uh, let slip the dogs of war <laughs> on a another, you know, fan game or fan game community uh, in Relic Castle. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Soul Silver Art has probably one of the best theories I've seen for uh, Pokemon ZA in a wild. We have a wild theory uh, about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet of all things. Uh, as well as a uh, Riddler Q, a little bit of Riddler, Riddler Q update, you know what I'm saying? And some more stuff today as well. So, of course, if you want to continue getting videos like this from me, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all like this stuff that YouTube requires you to continue getting video, or videos from me. Follow me on twitter.com slash rsmario128. Like my video tweet, share my video tweet, and I will shout you out right here at this portion of the video. All right, so let's get on into this. So first off, we start off with the kind of the heavy stuff. So it looks like the Pokemon Company International has taken down Relic Castle. So it said they put out this notice right here. It says, Dear Pokemon fan game community, it's with a heavy heart I announced that Relic Castle, the Relic Castle website has been taken down following a DCMA takedown notice. Relic Castle has always been a non-profit ad-free tight-knit community. Uh, and we pride ourselves in what we have achieved. Uh, members have felt at home, made friends, and even careers with us. Uh, it, is, it is with a deep regret that I have informed you that the forum part of this community, which uh, was to turn 10 years old this year, has had to come to an end with over 20,000 members and 65,000 posts. Relic Castle was the home to many of us. Uh, the Discord server is not going anywhere, and the site is still visible as an archive in the Wayback Machine. Thank you um, all for being with us for the last decade, and thank you for making Relic Castle an awesome, life-changing, awesome and life-changing as it has been for some of us. So, basically, uh, TCPI probably took this down. Uh, now, from what I, I now I never used Relic Castle. I never went there. But they're basically like, or uh, they were basically like a, a curator for fan games. And more than likely, this is why they took it down. Because uh, Nintendo and the Pokemon Company hate fan games. They do. They hate them with a passion. You know what I'm saying? Why? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> you know, uh, especially now, originally when I saw this post, I thought that they took it down because of ad revenue, right? Because websites get traffic they get money through ad revenue you know what i'm saying if you go to like sarabi and you see an ad that's how sarabi makes his money you know or joe merrick that's how he makes his money uh but at reading the post it says that it was an ad free non-profit community so i don't know this just seems kind of mean all right at first i was like yeah it looks like they were making money off this but since they weren't making money this just seems like a dick move on the Pokemon uh, communities, uh, the Pokemon, not the community, on the Pokemon company's part uh, by just taking it down for like no reason, you know. So, but uh, that's kind of what you expect in the fan game community when it comes to Pokemon. So next we have the Pokeshopper.net. It's a they dropped this tweet here with new merchandise uh, for Pokemon Horizons. So this could be connected to the game. Or this could just be focused around the show. Because the show, uh, I believe it's a, either, a, by the time this video comes out, it's either debuted or about to debut in America on Netflix. So, I don't know. Uh, but they say, it says, Pokeshopper update. The new Pokemon Bandai uh, kids figures will release in Japan this August. Uh, it will feature one secret edition upon release, Pokeshopper.net slash coming soon so uh and it's got like uh the chick from pokemon uh horizons it's got baby terrapagos captain pikachu chansey uh and it's got all the other basically pokemon from pokemon horizons but it's got this one that's got a black circle over it we don't know what it is so now this could be uh, a new pokemon 
you know what I'm saying, that's going to be on Horizons. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be connected to the possible new Pokemon Horizons movie. Because remember, we're supposed to be getting movies are coming back for Pokemon now. So we're going to be getting an announcement probably in the next year or so of a new Pokemon movie. You know, um, more than likely that, 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 you know, censored image right there is going to be the new mythical from that movie, which means it could be about Scarlet and Violet, which I'll talk about a little bit later. All right. Soul Silver Art drops a, uh, a theory. Soul Silver Art has some of the best theories on, on Pokey Twitter, at least from what, the ones I follow anyway, you know, I'll say their theories are pretty cool. Uh, this one says, this is a bit silly, but once again, we have stars and celestial bodies theme. And of course, uh, these are both Gen 9 games. I wouldn't say this means more than that. Uh, it's still interesting to me that because maybe there's some connection to Terrestrial and the Gen 9 plot in Pokemon ZA. But the whole Scarlet Violet DLC star theory was about the colors representing the legendary Pokemon in the DLC. Maybe, just maybe, there's a new yellow legendary Pokemon in ZA because it is pretty much the same. So what he's talking about is the, the logo that flashes, you know, during the Pokemon ZA trailer. And um, a lot of people, uh, myself included, think this is gonna be like the company that's doing the urban redevelopment. All right, this is going to be their logo. But what they're also talking about is the fact that it's a yellow star and there was a yellow star in the DLC, you know, logo for, um, you know, Sudachi. You know what I'm saying? For, for, for Scar Scarlet and Violet. So, of course, all the stars in the DLC cooperated with new Pokemon. You know, the blue one was Terrapagos. The green one was, um, um, was Ogre Pond. The purple one was the peach Pokemon, and then there's a yellow one, but we never got that, you know? So maybe this yellow Pokemon could be in Pokemon ZA. I mean, that could be the threat that they're talking about between in Pokemon ZA. Maybe there's a connection between Pokemon Legends ZA and Scarlet and Violet. Only time will tell, but I actually think this is a pretty interesting idea. But I also have a different theory on the yellow star that maybe the yellow star could be more DLC for Scarlet and Violet. So, Riddler Q. All right, so Riddler Q drops a post. Uh, he said, who is he? And it's got Karen, uh, uh, Kieran up here, and it's got him with his hair down, uh, and then he's got, like, the Hydreigon, like, pre-evolution, and then he's got his hair up, and then he got Hydreigon. So, um, basically, it looks like he's comparing Kieran to Hydreigon, uh, now, there is some similarities, I mean, because he did have, like, Hydrapple, you know what I'm saying, which is kind of like Hydreigon if Hydreigon was an apple, <laughs> you know. The other one, um, the other possibility is um, he's comparing Kirin to Getsus, all right, because Kirin was kind of an antagonist in the Scarlet and Violet DLC, you know, and, of course, Getsus is the antagonist of Generation 5, or at least Black and White 1. Was, was Getsis in Black and White 2? I feel like Black and White 2, because it's been so long, I feel like Black and White 2 was uh, the, like, that was when they brought in, like, the, the scientist guy um, for for team, uh, for, um, you know, team, what you call him. That was when they brought him in. All right, he was, like, the main villain. I think you might buy, you might fight Getsis in, like, the post game or something. But I think the main antagonist was the scientist guy and, like, some of the other members. So, but it, it is an interesting comparison. I mean, because if you look at, like, the hair strands, like, the little hair flap things, they do kind of look like Getsis's. So, maybe Riddler Q is, is, is kind of hinting at, you know, Getsis uh, either being involved in one of the new games or maybe this is a Generation 5 thing. But, or he could just be trolling us and I'm just thinking way too hard into this. <laughs> All right, so we get to the wild theory of the video. So this one is actually based around an older leak that turned out to be pretty much true. So this one says, uh, I think that Pokemon Scarlet and Violent is not done yet. 
Take it with a grain of salt. This is my interpretation of what will happen based on recent events. Some theories and a specific leak from last year. The leak in question is this one. Last year on 4chan was posted a leak that was proven legitimate by a programmer at a Pokemon outsourcing company of which almost all the things were proven to be correct except for one. The one mentions they are working on a graphics enhancement patch for a new, for a new Nintendo Switch models that will be released alongside DLC 2. Now, I couldn't find the original leak from 4chan. So, you know, we just gotta have to kind of go off what they say here. But basically, this leak leaked a whole bunch of stuff and then said that there was going to be... I, I, I think I remember vaguely covering the leak where it said that there was going to be a graphics update for Scarlet and Violet. This is something that has been, you know, kind of like talked about for a while now. You know what I'm saying? And of course, having that drop at launch for the new system would be kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? It would be crazy, but... I mean, I think it would kind of cannibalize Pokemon, you know, Legends VA, I mean, ZA, because, you know, if they're going to come out, more than likely ZA is coming out like quarter one of 2025. You know, I, I doubt that this game is going to come out in like freaking quarter three. That would be kind of crazy, you know, but, um, you know, it, it would actually work, though, if they want, really want to take more time with the game. But uh, let's continue on, though. So what does this mean? So what do I mean that S and V not being done yet? Well, I think that this DLC 2 and patch with enhanced graphics are totally new things being developed and planned to be released between this year and next year. So with this, I think that it's correct to assume that Game Freak considers both the DLC for Scarlet and Violet just one thing since both share the same code name, Sudachi. This is something that I kind of thought too. All right, I kind of thought that, you know, Sudachi was just one project that they split in two. You know what I'm saying? Which, I mean, even though it will be kind of big for one project since it gives you Kitakami and the daggone um, Indigo Academy, which is pretty big. You know what I'm saying? But they all share one code name, Sudachi 1 and Sudachi 2. You know, so they're both Sudachi. So it's possible. And we know that usually whenever they make a brand new project, you know, it usually has different code names. I think the DLCs for Sword and Shield had different code names, you know. So, you know, let's uh, continue on. Uh, with that in mind, I think it is correct to assume that the DLC 2 mentioned in this post as a whole new project with a whole new code name and that this patch is enhanced graphics as a whole new project separate from DLC part two. Since it mentions that one will release alongside the other, that may or may not release alongside this new DLC. So this actually kind of works out because I mean, what better way to get people to go back to play the enhanced Scarlet and Violet or possibly even buy like a game of the year edition for Scarlet and Violet with enhanced graphics, what better way to make people do that than to have a whole nother chunk of DLC? This also goes with the new mythical theory where, you know, the yellow star being, you know, a new mythical that we never got, the new movie that's probably coming, which usually at this stage of the generation has a new mythical Pokemon in it. All signs point that we might be getting a second slash third DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Tell me what you think down below. Do you think it's possible? Do you want more DLC for Scarlet and Violet? Honestly, I'd be fine with that. Like, if they drop that this year, I'd be totally fine with that. And then drop, like, you know, you know, Legends ZA in, like, second or third quarter 2025. I'd be cool with that. I, I'd be cool with that. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, people, Keep it real.